is up? I'm Awana Turtle. So today we have a very cool video. We are doing a small Pokemon opening. And small by all we're opening is a mini tin. And that is because we are going to be uh, showing off some new Funko Pops that uh, I just added to my collection. Uh, me and my girlfriend were at the mall, went to Newberry Comics, and they had a buy one, get one, 50% off. So we did, um, I got three and she got one. So we'll, let's go into our Funko Pops to start before we open up this Pikachu mini tin. Uh, so the one that my girlfriend got, uh, so we just finished the Big Bang Theory, the whole, the, the season series finale. Uh, it was a good ending. I think they did a really good job. And so the Funko Pop she got was Amy Farrah Fowler. I think this one, they did a really good job. I think it's hilarious that she has her tiara on and, uh, yeah, they had her outfit really right. And, um, no, so, so she does like to open hers, um, which is why it's not in the box. So that's first Funko Pop, Amy Farrah Fowler from the Big Bang Theory. Uh, then I got three, so the first one we're going to show off is Erwin from Attack on Titan. Um, if you don't watch this show, it's absolutely amazing. It's in its third season. Uh, such a roller coaster ride, such a crazy story. And uh, at, some, at times things are pretty bleak for like the human, for the humans versus the Titans, but um, this guy is absolutely badass. Um, without going, getting into any of the sp spoilers or anything um you know he's he's like the the leader the commander and he's he's not afraid of anything uh so that's why i picked him up i just think he's an awesome character in an awesome show next one we have is from another anime is from full metal alchemist and we have alphonse eric elric um so actually i kind of want all of them from that they have for this uh obviously you know the two main characters uh and i do really do like roy although i like the um his partner as well i can't remember her name she had like a very uh kind of sound like a code name uh and then i also like really liked uh winry as well uh so i did pick up alphonse first uh i feel like he was a very you know as loyal of a you know um character as could be given that he was uh edward's younger brother and if he ever did anything wrong just because like in reality he's a kid um and he didn't know any better but you know he was always on the you know always in the right mind and always doing what was needed of him which is why i picked him up and i think it's cool how he's like this he's supposed to be like this big suit of armor and it's kind of like a well all pops are kind of like chibi but this one i felt was really like that so um there we go for our second one from full metal oh if you do watch the show because you haven't seen it before watch brotherhood don't watch the original one in my opinion it was cool and then it got really weird um so yep and then for our fourth one we have from avengers this is my favorite villain possibly of all time <laughs> we have thanos uh so there's actually two one of them he had the the armor and i don't know what they call that double sword thing um but it was really cool so i was torn between these two i picked this one i thought this this huge smile is really funny but uh yeah thanos uh gotta be the coolest villain um and i think my second runner-up is actually from civil war when it was just like this this normal human had no fighting abilities but he managed to to do all the, that he was able to do which i thought was really cool so um there we go and this one's actually a bobblehead I'm not sure if you can tell uh and i really want to take it out of the case but i think i'm going to leave him in there um but he is a bobblehead as well <laughs> and yeah I, I got that one as opposed to the one with the, the double sword just because of that huge smile i think it was hilarious so that is our four funko pops we have uh amy farrow fowler from big bang theory alphonse eric Irwin uh from tack on titan and thanos okay let's go into this mini tin as this is still for the most part a pokemon channel but uh, yeah, I just want to share that and um, let me know in a comment down below what your most recent Funko Pop or what's your most like prized one. Uh, I feel like Funko Pop is, if you do it right, it's very cool. But I, I feel like actually I'm getting to a point where it's almost becoming overly saturated, uh, where they're you know they're not as unique. But Genesec tin or <laughs> coin. We have our Pikachu card. This one's not in terrible shape. I'm not aware of these if you can get these graded. Uh, but I do think that it would be difficult given that the way they package them often damages them. So we do have two packs. Fates Collide plus Bur Burning Shadows. Excuse me. Let's get into Fates Collide first, obviously. 
All right, and before we get into the cards, as always, uh, please hit that like button down below. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that sub button as well. Bell for notifications. And let's get into this. We have a Wormadom. That's not. This is a Pokemon I'm not that familiar with, actually. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. Okay, is it upside down or something? Um, Alakazam, Spearlink, Loudred, Carbink, Riolu, Diglett, Mancino, Coughing, a ooh Kangaskhan. Shout out to Mama's Kangaskhan, and a Marowak. This looks like he's just doing a weird walk. All right, and for our Burning Shadows pack. See if we can't get something super fiery. Okay, we have a fairy energy. Dust Clops, Simiseer, Mount Lanakila, cute little stuffle, Mudbray, Tynamo. Oddish, Dabbing Duskull, and Saviper for the reverse, and Azumarill. So coming up, um, coming up short on the tins. Uh, however, hope you guys did enjoy this video with these uh, new Funko Pops we added to our collection. I think in a previous video I showed like the rest of my collection, but that was quite some time ago. So maybe in the near future, um, I'll kind of go through the Funko Pops I've accumulated up till now. Uh, let me know in a comment down below if you're interested in that. And what is the most prized Funko Pop you have? Um, I feel like they're Pokemon. I think there's like a Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and a Charmander that I did order. Still yet to arrive for some reason. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of lacking on that. I'm curious what... It's taking uh, why the hold up um, I guess Pokemon does have like a lot of their own toys and plushes and stuff like that uh, but there we go guys that's our opening for today a little bit different um, as always thanks for watching this for all the support like comment and subscribe all down below I'm a turtle and I'll catch you guys next time peace <laughs>